So anyway 749 the question is, since a black cube is associated with the planet Saturn, when was that association first arrived at and by whom? And anyway why black and why a cube? Okay 526, I reckon your interest has been spurred on by the March 2007 images from NASA showing a hexagonal vortex at Saturn's North Pole. And because the planet tilts and you can see the North Pole from Earth, you reckon it is possible that ancient humans at some time may have witnessed it? Well yeah that is right. It just depends upon if the feature is visible with the naked eye or even with some kind of super high-tech device loaned by visiting aliens. A crucial point, before we go for the alien space traveler angle. We should also consider that, a cube only looks like a hexagon from some angles and that a lot of the time anyway, the Saturn association has been with a black square. Right so you are saying like, I have to be specific and definite about the facts to be chosen for consideration rather than trying to bring all possible interpretations together. That is it mate, otherwise, we may be associating non-related items and making facts fit our assumptions and so go off on a semi-religious bender. Anyway in a Mal Gibson kind of way, I think the NASA images throw up some interesting parts of thought. But of course as you imply they do require historical linkages, otherwise the trails are just a bunch of dead ends. The Assyrians in 700 BC knew of Saturn, they called it Star of Ninib, but, I am not aware whether they left any record or evidence as to how they saw it. So that lack of knowledge allows every freak out there to jump in and hypothesize without saying that is what they are doing. So they say, we all used to be able to hear a heartbeat from 10 yards and could see stars like as if we were using a freaking telescope, or some such blah. So what do you reckon then you old cynical bastard, or are you not going to have an opinion on this one? My opinion is all applying modern knowledge to ancient events and coming up with the wrong answers. Just not knowing what the ancients were thinking or doing. It is just like saying an aircraft is a UFO because you can't see it clearly enough. It is okay and you can have fun with it, but you can't place an official statement on it. So you are saying that the ancient peoples may have been meaning different stuff in any art or literature they have left. And that, the interpretation we are giving for their stuff now, tends to grow out of our current knowledge and concerns. That is it. How on earth can we know what they thought? We can only guess. What was important to them then, may not be important to us now and we miss the point entirely. Well yeah, I reckon we are not that different Tim. Although I do take the point about what we consider important may not be the same, but surely they have left some indication as to their perceived values. Of course they have, but I can tell you it was not spacecraft. Yeah they may call it a chariot or something because that is all they know but we know it could not have been. And that 526, is the point we know what it can't have been, but not what it was. It is just our conjecture as to what it might have been, built out of our current knowledge and concerns. So that all I can say on the subject is it might be what they say, but equally it might not be. Crikey 749 that is no fun. I can't get a lecture tour series out of that kind of thinking.